Hello, everybody. Today's September 6th, 2013. Thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag 73 channel. I'm coming to you from the mobile office, but this time I'm stationary. I don't think I'm be able to film anymore while I'm mobile. Uh, this car, even though I love it a lot more than the Lincoln, it's it's not as quiet inside the cabin. The Lincoln was quieter and there's too much road noise. I apologize for the videos that have had road noise in the past month or two. So I'm going to try and avoid that as much as I can. Today I want to talk about Poland. Poland has reduced their debt to GDP by 8%. And last year it was 55.6 I think was their debt to GDP ratio. And they've they're able to reduce that by 8%. I mean, that's incredible. I mean, they're, they were going too far into debt. So thanks to their citizens who have involuntarily handed over their private retirement pension accounts, uh, those are going to be converted over to a safe state-run program. And in effect, Poland is nationalizing their retirement accounts, everybody. This is coming to a country near you. Uh, the U.S. has their sights on 10 trillion in private accounts. I think it's 19 trillion is the estimate I saw in retirement accounts. And about 10 trillion of that is in private accounts, IRAs and 401ks. So, you know, they, they got their sights on it. Uh, the U.S. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is concerned about your safety <laughs> and your 401k, uh, should scare you. <laughs> that should scare you that the Bureau of Protection, Financial Protection Bureau Director Richard uh, C Cordray or Conray, I, I don't know, I don't remember exactly. He's concerned about your retirement account, and that should scare you. I mean, I'm telling you this is coming. I've been talking about it a couple years. There's other people been talking about it for 10 years. But this is coming. We're, our debt level, our jet debt to GDP here in the U.S., I think is around 102%. But, you know, we have a printing press, and we can print up, like a lot of people say, you know, we can never default. So we can always print the money. But... Now, we get to that point <laughs> things are gonna be just totally off the charts horrible for everybody so anyhow uh, forced long-term t-bonds government sponsored annuities I mean that's what we have coming there's gonna be a point where the Federal Reserve is not gonna be able to buy all the Treasury's bonds they're talking about tapering now uh, what is this? QE light or taper light or some bullshit term they got? They come up with. Uh, they got all these analysts saying they're going to taper. They're going to taper next week. What? Whatever. If they do, there'll be another bloodbath. And I don't really think they can. I think they're going to up the ante. Just uh, because the interest rates. Yesterday, the ten-year yield hit three percent. I mean, the the Fed has lost. Uh, as of last month, it was $191 billion on their treasury bonds that they hold. They hold uh, $2 trillion in treasury bonds and one point something trillion in mortgage-backed securities. So they're losing a lot of money on their holdings. It's wiped out all their gains since uh, 08 or 09, I believe. And so who's going to step in if they stop buying the bonds? I reported that, that China and Japan sold $40 billion in Treasury bonds. Interest rates are going up now. So I can see an easy way for them to continue to buy the bonds by nationalizing the private pension funds. And I don't really feel like this is happening right now, going to happen right now in the United States, but who knows. Uh, I do believe it's going to happen at some point. You should see people's face when I tell them I don't have a 401k. I don't believe in a 401k. I don't have one. And most people are just like, you're an idiot, dude. you, you got to be saving for your future. Why aren't you thinking about your future? 
I mean, how could you not be saving for your future? Uh, I'm saving for my future, but I'm not using that vehicle. I'm not using the vehicle that all the financial advisors tell you is, you know, basically the one you want to use. You want to be there. Um, so anyhow, that's about it.